the pill has been around for women for decades. And now we might be one step closer to a new contraceptive. Ah, this time it's for men. U.S. researchers found experimental birth control injections for men can prevent pregnancy in women. However, they say more work needs to be done to reduce some of the side effects. And Dr. Tara Narula is here to discuss the findings of this study. Fascinating in all the ways that this really breaks. It it's is. far more, it feels like, than just the, uh, the, the, the medical aspects here. But first to those aspects, how exactly would this work? So what the researchers did is they took 320 young, healthy men, ages 18 to 45. They were in long-term monogamous relationships, having sex with their partner about twice a week. Um, and they then gave them two injections every eight weeks. Those injections were a long-term, long-acting testosterone and a long-acting progestin. And and then they followed them for about a year and they measured their sperm counts and they looked to see how many of those couples became pregnant. Um, and they found that the injections were about 96% effective mm -hmm. in terms of reducing the sperm count from 15 million per milliliter, which is essentially considered fertile or above, to less than 1 million per milliliter in terms of sperm. In addition, there were um, only four uh, men that had ended up having a partner that became pregnant out of 266. So that's a failure rate of about 1.5%. Okay. Uh, and 95% of the men had their sperm counts returned to normal within about a year. So it seemed to be effective and reversible. So how do those rates compare to... Similar. They are. Yes, so this is similar. about as foolproof it, exactly. as a female birth control uh, it, right. possibilities. Uh, is there money in this? Is this being pursued? There's not. That's the big, big problem. Everybody asks, why don't we have a male contraceptive? Yeah, why, do, why don't we have a male <laughs> contraceptive? <laughs> I wish we did. But, so but it sounds like we could. We, we could. Um, and this has been researched. This is not new. This has been researched for the last 40 years. And the people behind the research have been uh, organizations like the World Health Organization mm -hmm. and the NIH. But pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, they have really backed out of this. And that is a problem because that is where we get the money to conduct large-scale trials, which is what we need to get a drug to market. Um, so why have they not invested? Questions over whether this would be profitable, questions over whether there'd be regulatory hurdles, questions over whether there'd be medical legal risk about giving healthy men something that might have a, a side effect profile that's not so great. But those seem to be variations of questions you could ask about women taking birth control. So you could. There's also there... medical issues that make it harder. Okay. Josh, um, the you know, for women, the birth control pill, for instance, mm -hmm. works by mimicking a natural state of pregnancy. Okay. Um, with this, we're not there's no natural state of infertility you're for just, men. Uh, you're just so yeah. Yes. acting upon the body. So it's a little bit harder to kind of adjust those hormones and get it right. Um, in addition, men produce about 1,500 sperm a second. Um, compare that with one egg a month. Uh, so, it, and uh, some of these, in some of these trials, what they found is that the efficacy of reducing the sperm count differs based on even your race. So for instance, Asian men somehow respond better than Caucasian men. So there's about 15% of the men who, when they get these drugs, their sperm count does not go down. It fails. These so. all seem legitimate reasons. <laughs> I wonder, though, at a much more fundamental level, yes. is this about guys not wanting to do this? I think you have to put that into play as well. You have to put the gender issue, the cultural issues, and the psychology of it. You know, Do men somehow feel that this would make them less virile, less masculine. I think you have to put all of those things into the context of why we don't have a pill as well. This is, it would, or if nothing drug. else, a, a remarkable, it's a remarkable study. Maybe it's just the needle. I, yeah. I, I don't know. The problem with this too is that the, uh, the side effect profile, at least with this study, was not great and they actually stopped the trial early because there were so many issues with side effects. 20 men dropped out of the study. Oh. Um, mood disorders, depression, acne, increased libido. Um, pain at the injection site and myalgia. So a lot of so there's still a lot of fine tuning, a lot of science that needs to happen before we get something out on the market. All right, we, sh work. we, sh we shouldn't bury the lead if only because the graphic does take a moment to fire. Uh, doctor, <laughs> uh, as always, ha ha great, great to see you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.